Hi and welcome to my channel. This is Lex Marie with another wig install, you guys. I know it's giving scalp, it's giving scalp, right? It's giving scalp, it's giving scalots, it's giving scalotties. If you are trying to get this look, make sure that you watch this video second by second by second by second because I do show you guys in full detail how I achieve this beautiful, beautiful blonde wig install so if you are trying to get this same look make sure you keep watching but before make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you are already subscribed turn on the notification bell like come on so you can get these videos when they upload and also follow me on all of my social media platforms at Lexa Marie I am on Instagram I'm on TikTok and I'm on Twitter so make sure you follow me all there so you can get the details soon and yeah that's that's really it. Let's get into this bust down, this bust down blonde wig. Okay, so I already prepped my wig cap and the wig. So for this, I did not bleach the hair for obvious reasons. It's already pre-colored, so I just plucked it and then I added some color to that lace. So as you can see, you know, it fit, but we had to make some adjustments with this wig. Um, I wish it just came a little bit bigger because of my head size, but you know, we're going to make, we're going to make it do, we're going to make do, we're going to make do. But before I lay this down, you want to make sure before you lay it down, guys, straighten your hair as much as possible in the front so it doesn't get in the way when you cut it. So now I'm just going to go in and pull all my hair back before I cut off the excess lace. But look at all that hair. Look at all that hair. Now I'm just going to go in and cut the lace into three sections. Then I honestly just do this so it's easier to lay down. So I'm putting on that wig grip gel, making sure I put it evenly and nice and flat on the lace. And then what I'm going to do is use that excess lace, right, to hold the wig down. So I like to put it on a warm or cool setting, but on high, right? And I go in and I try to get it as tacky and as like, kind of sticky as possible so it actually adheres to my head so I'm just doing this and obviously I cut the video just to you know show you guys what I was doing but you want to do this for about mm, five minutes on each part maybe less maybe more I'm not really sure but <laughs> it's like one Beyonce song because I know it took me a Beyonce song or like three Beyonce songs to finish uh, doing this method, but I feel like this is just super easy if you're someone that's a beginner and you don't know how to just already pre-cut the lace. I like doing this method. It works every time and it gives me a nice flawless finish. So this part is completely optional. You don't have to put that spray, but I just like to lay my wig down just a little bit more so it can last a couple days. Um, but now I'm just going in with my wig band and I'm letting it just all sit and get nice and flat. And then I'm just going in with my hot comb again. So yes, that is how the hair is looking right now. Look at that skin. Look at that smile, girl. Look at that. But as you can see, I wait about 15 minutes for it to dry enough for me to cut off the excess lace. So look at how late it is to the scalp, you guys. I was so happy with the results. Um, some of the edges, like on the very, very ends, it's just always like, it's always my hard, difficult area. So I had to go in and fix that. But 
I pulled my hair back and I just went straight to work on this wig. Now, something I am going to say is that you want to cut as close as possible to the actual hairline. You want to make sure that you do not see any excess lace. And that's just kind of how you get the most flawless finish. Sometimes I end up not cutting enough. And yes, it does make a difference. So just try to get as close as possible to that actual wig hairline because it'll look more natural that way. Now, this is the scariest part. I, y'all see my face, right? <laughs> Do you see? <laughs> no, because I'm really clowning myself right now. I hate when it comes out like that. Like, oh my gosh, what is going on? What is going on? But if you do your makeup after you do your wig, child, you already know. Sometimes you just got to blend it out. But I'm just going in and... I am going to work on my part as I do my final touches with my makeup. As you can see, it's very incomplete, so give me some grace, okay? Give me some grace before y'all come and say I look, you know, ashy or whatever. I'm going in and I wanted to do a side part today, so I was just trying to figure out which side I wanted to do, and I decided to do this side. So I'm just trying to prep that hair to get it nice and comfortable on that side of my face, which is the left side of my face. I like to have my part on the right side, it's just, I don't know why, it just looks good on me. So that's what I am doing right now, and then we're going to get to the real customization, which is the edges. So for this, I wanted to practice those baby hairs that kind of just groove and slide into the part. So what I did was just part the hair so a piece of my hair is like hanging and I use that as the baby hairs. Does that make sense? Like you see that little piece just hanging there? I kind of made that a part of the part in order to get the baby hairs. So hopefully that made a little bit of sense. I had some hard time trying to match up the baby hairs, but doing this method uh, got it to match up a little bit better. So yeah, I am just going in with a little bit of color before I get the rest of my baby hairs prepped. And you wanna make sure it's just super flat, like flat as possible, so it has that flawless, like arrogant Tay type effect. So for this part, you can use a scissor, you can use a razor, or you can use these trimmers that I have. But just go in and cut those baby hairs. I like to cut it near my eyebrows. If you like your baby hairs smaller, you can do it smaller. But I like to have more than have less. And then I can just like work and like cut it off as I go. But I love doing this method and then curling my baby hairs. I feel like it just gives the best look, natural curly look that I desire. So I'm just going in with my curler and just curling all of my baby hairs before I lay them down.
Now, if you want a little bit more control, I would definitely recommend using a spritz instead of a liquid mousse. Well, not a liquid mousse, but you know, like the foaming mousses. Yeah, no, I don't recommend that. The spritz just does it for me, and I feel like I have a lot more control. I do try the regular foam mousse, but sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's a miss, and most of the times it's a miss. So I just went back to my handy dandy spritz, and just look at it. Look at it being all laid down, looking all good. Now we are going to get into the good part, which is my little serum. I love to have my hair nice and shiny, so I put a dime size of my Olive Oil Ores uh, hair serum, and it just helps protect the hair when I curl it and get ready for the slayage. So next, I am going to add some front layers. I just like to add some shape and definition to the front of my face. I know some girls just, you know, curl the wig as is, but I do like to give myself um, some layers so I'm just going in with that same razor and I'm doing it in the front and then I'm going to do it on the sides and that's really about it like it frames my face pretty well I like the look the curls have it gives it a little bit more body a little bit more culture and after that I'm just going to go in and curl it but doesn't that look so much better like I don't know I feel like cutting it just gives it a little bit much, like a little bit more of a better look
Now, I really didn't have any crazy method for this. I just went in and grabbed some random old pieces and I just curled the hair as you can see. So just trust me, if you get like a one inch or two inch or one and a half inch curler, you'll be fine, girl. Just curl that hair, curl that hair, let it hold for like probably 10 to 15 seconds and then just take it down and you'll get something like this. All right, so this is the final look for the hair. Again, this is from Ali Pearl, 22 inches, super fire. All of the details are in the description box. I will say when installing this wig, I love the color, but I did notice as I was straightening the hair, it had pink in some of the areas, and I'm not sure what that's about or if it's something I did but it kind of like dyed the hair pink. I'm not really sure what happened. Um, overall, I would say this is a 10 out of 10. As you can see, I made sure that install looks flawless. And I don't know, I feel like I can definitely get away with this color because of that ash darker color in the roots and then the blonde on the ends. This is so flattering. So if you are my complexion, close to my complexion, or you just want this wig just because, make sure that you purchase it. All the details are in the description box. But follow me on all of my platforms at Lexa Marie, and I will see you guys in the next wig install. Bye.